Hello everyone. Today is Monday, January the 24th, and we've had a little shakeup in the stock market lately. It's down significantly, uh, probably down about 15%, 15 to 20% from its highs back in November. That's the NASDAQ. And uh, most of your stocks are would be represented best probably by the NASDAQ versus the S&P 500. Now, the NASDAQ is 2,500 plus stocks, but it is smaller companies and tech companies. So, yes, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, companies like that are in there, but... The S&P 500 also includes those, but there's only 500, not 2,500 or more. So we've had some issues with the market. Of course, I think a big part of that is the inflation that's been happening. And uh, I think the inflation, really, most of that, in my opinion, has been caused by the printing of money and putting it into the money supply and normally when that happens, you don't just add money to the money supply. You take some out. Back in the old days in banking, we would have money that would get crumpled up or really start looking nasty, $20 bills, whatever it might be. We'd send that back to the Fed. They would actually incinerate it, burn it, and then send us new money. So we'd never increase the money supply that way. But lately, they've been printing money and just putting it into the money supply. And that is going to cause inflation. Hopefully, they'll stop doing that and uh, that will not continue. And then that will help ease inflation as we go. The Fed talking about it, raising interest rates. And that is also affecting the stock market. So... We'll see what happens. They're fairly hawkish right now, saying by the end of 2023, they plan on trying to get the Fed funds rate, which is the one they can control, that's currently at about 0%. They're going to try to get that Fed funds rate up to about 2.1% by the end of 2023. So we'll see what happens there. Now, this week, we do have quite a few tech earnings coming out. I think those tech stock Companies are going to show some pretty good earnings, which should help bolster that again. Our chief investment officer, uh, as well as our investment team, do believe that we may be seeing the bottom here. Hopefully, we saw it last Friday, but may bottom out a little more yet this week. And then we can start to see a bounce back, provided we don't have some other major thing occur, like war, war. Uh, in the Ukraine or something like that. So, but I want to give you a little perspective because uh, I have had just a couple of people contact me or email me that they're nervous because of what's happening in the stock market. So here's a perspective that I want to give you. If you take a look at this, this is a two year. So if you start right here, right there's a pandemic. This is a two year graph of the NASDAQ, which is the top dark blue line, and the S&P 500, which is the lighter blue line beneath it. And that's the last two years. This was the pandemic, the big drop. But if you take from right here two years ago and go forward to where we're at today, you can see that we're actually up about 47% on the NASDAQ as of today and 33% on the S&P 500. Hey, that's not bad at all if you actually said uh, almost 50% up for two years, 25% a year is pretty incredible actually. And uh, most of your plans, when we project those growth stocks, we're projecting them out at 7, 8, maybe 9% a year. And right now we're at the last two years averaging 25%, even with the drop. Actually, it was up back in November, the high there, it was up almost 70%. So it was just painful to see it coming back down because your portfolios are going down a little bit from the high. But we cannot always expect it to just go up. You can see we're going to have drops up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's normal with the stock market. Don't get nervous about it. We still like the companies that we're invested in. You know, I don't think Apple or Microsoft are going to go broke anytime soon. So we've and you have a lot of your portfolios are invested in some of those bigger tech companies like that. So. 
And also that's why we have the fixed annuities for a lot of you because that's safety. That's that uh, money cannot go down. That's in the foundation of your financial house. So you've got a mixture and depending on how much risk you wanted to take and how much we thought was appropriate, you've got a bit of a mixture in there of the fixed indexed annuities and the stocks. So we're really safe on one side. That's the foundation growth in the roof. And we've been pretty much splitting it like that for quite a few years and it's worked extremely well. We're going through a little dip in the market here, but please don't be calling us to say sell, sell, sell because you don't want to sell when the market's down. This is a time when you, you would want to be buying, if anything. So just hold. You're in the stock market. This is a normal thing. If it's a uh, correction, which it is right now, which means it's down somewhere between 10 and 20 percent, then those normally last about four months. And this one started back in November. So they typically last about four months and then they take a couple of months to come out of it. That's a correction. We're in that right now. Hopefully we don't hit a bear market, which is more than 20% down. We're about 15% down now. So that, you know, could happen. If it does, the average bear market lasts about nine months. And again, for most of you, we are in the stock market for five years, 10 years, 15 years. So 10 years from now, we look back, this should not be even much of a recognizable blimp. Now, again, we have safety in your portfolios where we can take income so we don't have to sell when stocks are down and things like that. So we have you positioned, we have you planned, and we're continuously improving that. So that's uh, my message for today. I want to wish you all a happy new year. And hopefully your new year will be awesome and will be much better than the start of the stock market. Now, hopefully Mark will be great this year. And we'll look forward to seeing you throughout the year. And we'll see you later. Thank you.